You look beautiful, by the way. You know, they say when you're pregnant, there's a glow that you have. I'm serious. You guys may be thinking, gosh, what is she talking about? It's hot. I feel fat. My feet are swollen. I don't feel beautiful. But let me tell you, you are. And that gift you're holding inside of you is even more precious. We have a panel of experts here, all in their right, to give us um, some answers on things that, you know, we may not know and we need to know when it comes to pregnancy and motherhood. So without further ado, let me introduce the panel here. I'll start from my far right, and we'll start with a doctor, uh, Dr. Lydia Okutoyi. She's an obstetrician and a gynecologist. She has her clinic at KMA, and she's also a fistula surgeon. She'll tell you a bit more about that later on. Next is Dr. Adelaide Kitui. She's a pediatrician, and uh, she has a clinic at Afia Royal Clinics. Next is Imelda Masinde. She's a midwife. A midwife, of course, is a woman who helps you when you're in labor to help deliver your child. She has 30 years experience. All right? So she knows what she's talking about. Next to her is um, Tekla, Ms. Tekla Kemboy Ngotie. And she is a Lamaze instructor, as well as a midwife as well. She's been a midwife for the last 10 years. She's also a midwife lecturer at Kenyatta University. We have Reverend John Mark, and he is from All Saints. He's a pastor at All Saints Cathedral. He's also a family counselor. He is married, and he's a father of two beautiful girls. But I get excited when I'm in a situation like this. One, because uh, I do a lot of premarital counseling, and I work a lot with couples. And I get excited when I work with parents. But I get even more excited when I work with mothers because of my two experiences. The first one was this. When I got married, I promised my wife that I will be in the delivery room. Hi. <laughs> I will be in the delivery room when all our kids are delivered. So we went through Lamaze. Please give us your name. Susan, I can read the question. I was discharged from the hospital three days ago. My baby is crying a lot. Her skin is turning yellow and the cord is healing yet, what should I do? Okay, so what do you think? What do you think you should do? Go to the hospital immediately. Go to the hospital immediately. Dr. Kitu, please come up. I agree with the mother who is here. You need to go to the hospital immediately. Uh, some of the signs of infection in a newborn is crying a lot. It is not good to assume that when a baby cries, it is colic. So you have a baby who is crying, the skin is turning yellow, the cord is not yet healed. That is a sign of infection. So you need to go to hospital. What is the difference between a sick baby and one, and one who is having colic? If you have a crying baby, especially with any other sign like yellowness of the skin, the cord is still uh, oozing, I mean it's not yet healed. Think about infection. Third and final race in the 2014 Baby Banda Diapathon, sponsored by Pampers. This is Team Yellow. Let's get ready and see who the winners are going to be of the grand prize and the second and first runner-up prizes. On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> 